honestly don't believe in that. I'm like, if you gonna love me, you gonna love me right now. We here. Don't be settling. Don't settle. Hey roomies, I'm Jasmine Emerald and today I'm bringing to you guys a Reddit dating advice video where I find a topic on Reddit to talk about and kind of share my little two cents. Feel free to add your own two cents in in the comments down below or if you've been in a similar situation because I love to hear it because it could be beneficial to somebody else. But without further ado, let's jump into this topic. So this is entitled, he said I am everything he is looking for then broke up with me. We had been going on dates for the past two months. It culminated in him telling me I am everything he is looking for and that with me he feels that he can be himself and he feels safe. I feel the same. One week later proceeds to tell me he cannot pursue anything serious with me because he is not over his ex and needs to focus on resolving some personal issues. How do you get over this? Can't stop thinking about him and what could be. So I do feel like the person meant this like they actually meant that they were interested in having something serious but you know you can't really help feelings that you have or potentially being stuck on the past i will say it's good that he didn't continue this relationship knowing he had these feelings about his ex because that would have just left the whole situation being awful for you even worse than it is to me Unfortunately, it's given that you were potentially in the rebound stage of his trying to get over his ex and he probably thought he could have probably did something, you know, kept talking to you. But at the same time, he probably realized, you know what, I don't want to hurt this girl even more than I have, obviously. So he's taking a step back. Now, you know, you may have hope for what this could be, but I'm not going to lie to you. I do feel like in situations like these, you have to be very careful because I know I've been in some situations where I would be talking to someone and they had recently ended things with their ex and sometimes people just would just need a distraction and then would potentially end up catching feelings and stuff like that and then they would realize that they weren't necessarily ready to let their ex go or they would realize comparisons or they would realize yeah, this person is actually a kind person, I don't want to hurt them like that, and they would, like, disappear, or they would ghost, or something like that. It's also just the factor of how long ago was he dating this ex as well, because if this was a recent breakup, like, within the past five months, I always feel like people should be very wary of the people that they end up dating when it's in a short amount of time especially if they gotten over a breakup because you don't really know how serious things were for them and you may be thinking oh this is a new person to date but at the same time they are not on that same level of dating because they're still stuck on the past and the past situation that they were in it's really good if you kind of know where people are standing as far as like have you been talking to anybody seriously recently like in the past couple of months okay well why didn't it work out you know and you can also tell how someone feels just based on the way that they express their feelings like I will say a couple red flags if someone gets very defensive doesn't want to talk about their previous situation if someone gets angry about talking about the previous situation if you could tell someone's getting really emotional and you could tell them like lingering on about the topic. I also feel like if they talk too positively about their ex, it could mean that they were still interested in them. Or if you are aware of the fact that they still are keeping in contact with them. To me, those are kind of red flags because, don't get me wrong, some people can be friends with their exes, but I feel like you need space between being friends with your ex so soon especially if they're still actively around like it's one thing if they're a distant friend where it's like yeah you know how are you doing whatever but it's another thing if they're still actively hanging out too also you need to be with someone who values you right then and there and not someone who looks at you as a second choice it sucks when you get in situations like this but sometimes things just happen sometimes you meet the right people at the wrong time that's just how it goes and it's like I will never tell anybody to wait for anybody because I do not believe in waiting for people if I'm being completely honest unless you're actually married. I do not condone waiting for people because you never know what 
things could happen in life where somebody could change what they want just like that or they could be progressively changing what they want while they're experiencing life or in a new environment you just never know with people so to me I would say listen to some breakup songs I want to say I have a breakup playlist um like a blog post where I share some of my favorite breakup songs to listen to that'll help you go through the motions it'll probably be linked um, down below in the description box listen to some breakup songs cry it out talk to someone about it take your time to go through the motions because you may have thought things went a certain way but it's like you can't help if someone feels a certain way for somebody else you know you can't control how somebody else feels and don't get me wrong they probably could pop back up you know some months later but you know if they popped up like a couple weeks later like yeah you know let's make it happen it's like no you need time to grieve because you don't want it to be a situation where they end up with you and then doubling back to their ex immediately when they come back around you know what i mean i would just say focus on you focus on your healing it sucks but again you should be with somebody that values you right then and there not somebody who considers you a second choice you can't force situations to happen. Everything's just supposed to naturally happen in time. Who knows? Y'all could end up talking again. But at the same time, do not wait for any man. Do not wait for anybody. Now, again, I'm not telling you to be like, oh, I'm not going to wait for him. And then just hop in the sack with somebody new. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, is like, don't put your all your eggs in a basket thinking, ooh, I'm going to wait a year for this guy to come back around and we potentially date and you miss out on opportunities with potentially other people that could have been a good fit for you. You know what I mean? Take your time to go through the process of letting this relationship just simmer a little bit. Focus on just getting yourself back to focusing on you for a minute or go out with some friends. Or do something for you outside, but don't, obviously you gonna feel how you feel and think about what you're gonna think about, but don't let it control you where you're lingering on and hoping and wishing for a month. Go through it, feel the feelings, and try to move forward. Don't let life pass you by because you're waiting for something to happen when you never know. Like, you really don't know what could happen with this guy. He could... He could come back, but he could also be talking to her on the side. He could be talking to other people. You just don't know. So I would just say, just do you. And then if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. Like, I hate that saying so much. Because I really don't like the saying, like, if you love something, you got to let it go. Because I honestly don't believe in that. I'm like, if you're going to love me, you're going to love me right now. <laughs> you're not going to let me go. Because to me, that's stupid. That's illogical. That's not efficient. Like, if you want to be with me, you're going to be with me. You're not going to let me go. So, that's just how I feel. But what are y'all thoughts on this? Like, how would y'all feel? Have y'all ever been in a situation like this? I know I've been in a few situations like this. And every time, I would try to wait a little bit. Like, for me personally, whenever I've been in situations like this, I would normally wait about two months but as I was waiting I would slowly stop liking that person or sometimes I would realize they were already talking to somebody else or they went back to their ex or they were in a relationship or something like that or they just ghosted me I just don't believe on waiting for someone to come back for longer than two months and also I want to tell you don't end up making this a friends with benefits situation Please do not end up making this a friends with benefits situation because I've seen this happen to people too where they'll meet someone they think is a good fit for them. They tell them, oh, I'm still stuck on my ex. And then, you know, they'll pop back up and be like, well, we could still be friends. And then being friends turns into like a situationship and they end up doing like friends with benefits. But it's really the other person. They feel in each other, but then at the same time, it's like it's nothing serious. So please be careful about that too because you don't want to end up in a situation. Remember, if you want a genuine relationship, say that. Like, that's your goal. You say that and you stick to it. Don't be settling for no situation. Okay? Like, we here. Don't be settling. Don't settle for a situation. If that's not what you want. If you want love, 
if you want something that's going to build to something, if you want marriage, something serious, you stand on that. You stand by that. Okay? Okay. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on what I said and if y'all been in a similar situation or let me know what you would do in the comments down below because I'm always curious. It could be helpful to somebody. You might disagree with me. That's fine. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell other people what you think would be the better thing to do. But make sure you guys check out my other dating advice videos. The playlist will be linked either up here or in the description box down below. But stay blessed, stay positive. I'll be seeing you guys again soon with another video.